Hi everybody, this is Sithi Readings and hi Virgo. Let's have a look at the messages that are going to show up for you today. In case this reading resonates with you, there will be a link in the description box to the extended. Now let's see what messages will show up for you. Let's see what messages, what messages want to show up for Virgo. We have joy and delight. Open your heart to joy. And we have, oof, abundance. Wow. Abundance is pouring into your life. So there's something very nice that's going to happen to you within the next four weeks. Some of you are going to get a good news surrounding your money situation or there's just something very joyful and, you know, it's just, it's just like something is going to make you happy, which is a very light, refreshing kind of an energy joy and delight you do not need to suffer to grow you can grow leaps and bounds through joy true happiness comes from following the dictates of your soul do what gives you joy celebrate and have fun stop and embrace your life yourself and others say yes take steps today to expand your joy you do not need to do it all at once but you do need to start your purpose in life is to experience joy Allow joy and ecstasy to flow through you widely and freely. Share your love. Happiness spreads to others like wildfire and can help heal the world. Let's read for you the abundance card. Everything is blossoming and bearing fruit. Open yourself to receive. The prosperity you seek is being activated. A stream of abundance in all areas of life is ready to flow into your life. The Creator desires that you prosper. Take action in the direction of your dreams. This is not the time to passively wait for the prosperity to fall into your lap. We have here the Seven of Wands. Looking like you're in um, defense mode, okay, you're like, I'm not really gonna allow bull crap to ruin my energy. Some of you may even have Pisces placements um, with that High Priestess card. I do feel like you're trying to build something in your life, Virgo. I do feel like with that High Priestess energy, your intuition is really gonna be on point these days. So I suggest that if you're seeing signs and synchronicities, then you do pay attention to those. If there's a number you keep seeing or something here that you keep um, having a look at, make sure that specifically if it's a number then maybe write down that number and see what that means for you um okay let's see we have here the nine of wands you're seeming to be a little bit tired of something, something here you've put effort towards, but I feel like next few weeks, um, you're gonna be very busy doing something. 
uh, specifically something in your work situation because that's where I feel like your energy is more so directed towards talking about your work situation we have nine of coins I do feel like work situation is going to get a lot better for you in the next few weeks a legal settlement is taking place now one thing i am going to tell you virgo is to be mindful of an argument or something here where there is like power struggle between you and someone some of you are also going to realize that there is a person who's not worth your time not worth your energy there's also something here about wasted resources so as much as you know there's this energy of you finding abundance i really also feel like you need to be careful with where you know your money is going because i do see you making money but then there could be an expense coming up or just something could come up unexpectedly or you feel like oh i should have done more research before giving into this so in that case i do want you to be careful with um where you're investing your time money energy your resources okay because with that five of wands energy something can result in a conflict you have six of coins clarifying the uh five of wands tower it's there could be a power struggle in a money situation some of you may feel like there is someone who's who's being unfair um as much as you know i'm seeing here that there's victory for you it's coming in with some hardships and if you have a partnership business or if you have a colleague that you're working with or um like a group project it's it could become a little bit of an issue because there like i said before there could be a power struggle between you and someone devil <sighs> hmm. and the three of wands Give me one more card on that. Oh my goodness. There seems to be this energy of confusion surrounding a situation or also doubts. For some of you, you feel like you've been waiting for a long time for something, but it's not coming and it's creating a negative pattern or it's creating some negative energy for you right there that's also something that i see because it's like you're tired of waiting for a news or you're tired of waiting on something despite the fact that you're free to make a decision you feel confined to a situation because you're not seeming to get the clarity that you're maybe looking for okay um Hmm. Fool card. It's time for new beginnings. It's time to leave something behind, Virgo. Some of you may also feel like what you've been putting effort towards, it's like you have to start fresh. You have to let go of your expectation to, expectations to something and you have to start fresh. 
So in the next few weeks, I would suggest that you don't get fixated on people or certain outcomes here. I, as much as I feel like there's victory for you, it's not coming in easy. Um, things are getting a little bit hectic here, specifically in terms of an argument or drama. Like if you have a person in your life who's always creating d drama and conflict and draining your energy 24 seven, maybe it's time that you leave them behind. Maybe it's time that you communicate about your boundaries with that person. Okay. There's also something very fun and exciting in the air. So you could be going to an event or a party. Um, just be careful of your uh, business dealings or like something financial, okay? What's the advice for Virgo? I'm going to have a look at your advice in a bit. Three of Pentacles is here, so working together with someone. Um So your person's feelings for you, their view of you, actions they plan on taking, where is it going, and your advice. Your new person's energy and where are things going with them. If you don't have a new person, take this section as a prediction, okay? All right, let's see what's the advice for Virgo from this reading. Queen of Swords, detachment and logical practical thinking. So Queen of Swords is also someone who's able to communicate clearly. Queen of Swords knows what to share and what not to share as well in a sense that she can sometimes present a cutthroat energy. But let's have a look. Let's have a look. reconsider a decision absolutely there may be something you need to reconsider in terms of your finances what is this about windfall you're one of the few signs who's gotten the windfall card not everyone has gotten this card by the way so i do feel like there's good stuff coming in for you virgo but i also feel like how you're making money and where you're spending it is important this is a great time to treat yourself make a big purchase you're about to receive a windfall motivator so you're being told here to not give up on your dreams on things that you're ambitious about but at the same time you may need to be careful with your finances or your the, the people you're sharing your financial information with or the people you're partnering up with financially Let's have a look at your love messages from your person. Finding out the truth crushed me. There's something that was revealed to you about your person or that was revealed to them about the situation. And it's not helping. I lost myself for a little while and you were the best thing in my life. So Virgo, you do make this person happy, but I'm kind of getting that this is someone here who is... Mm, they're trying to like allow the situation to unfold in a certain way uh they're not trying to force things with you this is someone who does find you very attractive this is someone who who does feel like you're someone you know uh, very kind and loving and it's like you know the distance between you two is also making them think hard about things that have you know happened between you two anyway that's about it those were the messages that showed up for you virgo i hope that this reading resonated if it did have a look at the extended link below and i will see you guys next time bye